remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Man, if money tight, you're going to be mad about this one. We got a man just outside of Flint, Michigan, who found $43,000 inside of the cushion of a couch that he had purchased from a thrift store back in December. He just found the money last week. He told reporters that he didn't feel right holding on to the money. Howard said, the Holy Spirit just came over me and said, that's really not yours. Man, I would have told the Holy Spirit, I'd be damned if it ain't. <laughs> the Holy Spirit told him, that's really not yours. Let's play a game. Where do you think that money came from? I had my suspicions. It turns out my suspicions were right on the money. Howard said that after owning the sofa and ottoman, which he bought for a total of $70 for a few weeks, it was uncomfortable. So he and his daughter-in-law decided to unzip the cushion covers, and that's when they discovered the money. He contacted a lawyer who told him he had every right to keep the money. He wasn't legally bound to return the money. He said his, what did he say, his, uh, his faith got the best of him. He's a Christian man and his faith got the best of him. So he decided that it was not his money and that God told him to return the money. So, so, so he, he, he contacted he contacted the thrift store and they tracked down the owner, the person who donated the sofa and ottoman. And she said that it belonged to her late grandfather so he died left the money in the ottoman sofa now this is why i'm not a fan of stashing money inside of my house like large sums of money i don't do that because i always have this fear of you know what happens if i die and that money gets trapped and some stranger ends up with it. I don't like that idea. So anybody come in my house looking for some money, a large sum of money, they ain't find they ain't gonna find nothing. Uh yeah, I don't I don't rock like that. But having that money, that kind of money, and a sofa, if somebody knew that money was there old man would have been probably dead a long time ago because obviously his granddaughter who he probably trusted didn't even know the money was there so yeah I'm not a fan of uh, keeping large sums of money inside of the house uh, I've seen too many cases of people going in on people like that so yeah I wouldn't have done something like that I also thought that it could have been uh, a situation where somebody had stashed that money and maybe they was in the in the game or whatever and they got killed and the money got stuck that way in any event all i can think of every time i think of this story is what the great philosopher fred g sanford said you big dummy I just don't see having money that good where I would just 
give up 43,000 racks. I mean, if my money that good and I don't want the money, I just give it to somebody else who need it. But I'm not giving it to the thrift store. No, I ain't taking it back to them. I personally think thrift stores are a rip off anyway. You donate the stuff and they get paid for your stuff. You don't get a cut of the action. I ain't with that. Fair exchange ain't robbery. But what do you think, family? Would you have returned that money? And the thing is, is this also. He returned the money, didn't even get a reward. I mean, not even a hundred bucks. What kind of faith is that? Drop a comment. Maybe y'all got a clue. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?